All right, all right, I know. My time on two wheels has been essentially non-existent and aside from posting recap videos every couple of weeks, content's been lacking. Well, there's a pretty good reason for this. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. So heading into 2019, I decided to make some pretty big career changes. I decided to stop booking weddings and completely redesign and rebrand my company and my website. I also decided to sell off a lot of my old camera gear that was geared more towards weddings so that I could make room for some more. So speaking of new cameras, I picked up ah, this guy right here. This is the Sony FS7 II. And although this model isn't brand new, this came out in 2016, I just picked it up brand new myself. It's still the workhorse for so many broadcast companies like Sportsnet, TSN. You'll actually see it in some Red Bull films because it does great high frame rate video in 4K and uh, just makes a great image. So FS7 II is my new cinema camera that I'll be using to shoot a lot of the new documentaries I'll be working on on this channel. As sad as it was, I had to let go of my trusty GH5. It just didn't match the Sony FS7 nearly as well as I needed it to. So I sold it for the Sony a7 III. So this little guy, although it doesn't have the frame rates in 4K, which is a little sad, it does have way better autofocus. It also has way better low light than the GH5 and it matches the FS7 much better. So I had to weigh my options and this guy has been a beast so far. So being able to run this on a gimbal, handheld on my own and know that it's gonna hold focus on the subject has been a lifesaver already. And if I'm doing sit down interviews with myself, I can shoot those without having to worry about losing focus. Now, right now I'm shooting on Jesse C200 because obviously both of these guys uh, are in the shot, but this guy will do the trick when I'm out in the field and doing any behind the scenes type work. So stay tuned on more of this. But let me get back to the reason why you're all probably here. Hopefully. The Locals episode one is finally done. The project that was only supposed to span a few weeks ended up taking, oh, filming started in May the long weekend and spanned all the way to September. And I was lucky enough to actually have a premiere a few weeks ago at Freewheel Cycle, my local bike shop. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. So our first subject is Tim Price. He's a local mountain bike legend, we call him. He's the mayor of mountain biking of Dundas, Ontario, because you can't go for a ride with this guy without being stopped at least three or four times from other riders that know him or recognize him. Now, sometimes he doesn't even remember who they are, but he's had that impact on them that they want to stop and say hi to Tim. And I was also lucky enough to work with Rich Auger of The Perfect Line. He did all of the graphics for the film and he's actually helping me rebrand my company. So we actually did something a little different to go along with the film. So uh, uh, let me show you. Are you ready? What's up? What's up? Oh, you don't have to feed us. What do you a little, got? Uh, little present for you. Julie. Julie wants to come and. Uh... I got something here. You got something here? Yeah. What is it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna find out. Oh man. Is it, is, that's me on a pair of socks. That's awesome! That is so cool. <laughs> that's that's so a funny. great I remember picture. you said that ages ago you were going to do that. That's great. <laughs> that's the front. And then on the back, just to tie it into uh, Stay wild. wild. Oh, awesome. Tie it into the film oh, cool. that, That's perfect. That's cool. Limited edition, you. only 30 in existence. Very cool. Well, thank you very much. Oh, this right. is like so incredible. Is it weird wearing your own face on a sock? I'll let you know. It's funny, right? It? Maybe, I'll be, maybe I'll be skinnier on some people. <laughs> That's right. You can own a pair of limited edition Stay Wild socks with Tim Price's face on your feet. Now you may not ever be able to ride like Tim. You won't be able to ride up Gnome Rock. You won't be able to ride any of those rock gardens at Hilton Falls, but you can have full confidence knowing 
that when you're eating trying those features that you won't be able to do, you'll have a local legend's face on your feet. So if you want a pair of these super limited edition socks, they're on theperfectline.com. The URL is down below. There's only 30 pairs of them, so get them fast, and we'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And the feature film is going to be out on November 14th. That's next Thursday, 2019 at 530. So check it out. Super happy, and I can't wait to hear what you guys think of it. Everybody goes to Turkey Point. Um, we've just got a huge variety of trails uh, that we can ride around here. I just can't imagine living anywhere else. It's all I need to be a rich man. It had something to do with it. I think she was the one that coined the phrase uh, bike wife. Um, but it sort of came, Tim and I ride together so much.